Hey everybody, welcome to Milgat Farms. Today we're working on our reverse osmosis machine. So the reason we're going to be working on our machine today is that one of our membranes is not working efficiently enough. So uh, we've already uh, done some concentrating to make some concentrate is what we call it for boiling, uh, making maple syrup. And we noticed there was a problem. And so then we did our normal wash, uh, rinse, an overnight citric acid wash, a uh, rinse. Now we just did another wash. We gotta do a rinse. So as soon as that, as soon as that rinse is done, we're gonna install the new membrane and begin the reverse osmosis process on the water that we've got in our big tank. As always, if you guys like what you're seeing, give us a thumbs up, we appreciate it. Part of our wash cycle includes recirculating the water through the machine and through our post. Once that is done, we then have to clean all of that soap out. And the way we do that is with our permit that we make here on the farm ourselves. So it's all, it's all nice and clean. And what we're gonna do is dump it. Start the machine. Green light is on. We're gonna wait approximately 12 minutes, which will push 200 gallons through our both of our posts, at which time we're ready then to put the new membrane in and then begin the reverse osmosis process on our next batch of water. Our rinse is now done. What we need to do next is to put our filters in that we're gonna uh, concentrate with and then change out the membrane. And that means we're gonna have to take this post over here, pull it apart, old membrane out, new membrane in. The old membrane needs to go into a preservative so that later in the season we can have it clean professionally and then brought back to us. Hopefully that'll fix the problem. Here we go. <clears throat> right down here we have two large particulate filters and what we end up doing guys what we end up doing is we reuse our particulate filters every chance we can, or our, our big filters for our cleaning. As often as we can, we like to reuse our, our filters, or ooh, I'm a bit wet, our large particulate filters here for concentrating too. Once they become too dirty, then they're used as a wash filter. Now, um, guys, it's not normal for us to have to put a new membrane in. The reason we're putting it in is it wasn't performing as well as the other membrane that was in there, so we're gonna pull it out, and hopefully that will solve our problem, and we'll be able to use this machine and push the bricks or sugar content even higher. Guys, overnight we put our filter in permeate, and permeate is water that we make here on the farm. as a result of our reverse osmosis process. When water is split, the sugar and the minerals go into our tank and that's what we make maple syrup out of. And the other part is used for cleaning. By putting that membrane in overnight, that has hydrated it enough so that we can install it and begin right away to use it. Guys, you probably can hear it do a little gurgling because there's water inside of here that's got to come out. We got to take off these four screws, pop the top, lay it on its side, pull the membrane out, put the new membrane back in, and reverse to do everything in reverse, okay? Wow! Woo! Almost got me. <laughs> Here 
here we go. Still water coming out. Oh boy. Okay. 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 Oh boy. Guys, I'm telling you now, this is heavy. We have a little molly grease here that we're going to put on it. Guys, we got a little o-ring here that we need to lubricate. So we're using a food grade uh, grease to do that. Consider it lubricated. Now the challenge is getting that cone the way it's supposed to be. There's actually a cone here in the bottom of this thing. Ah, no way. No way, no how. And you want to pull it out. Put it on the end first. And then start pulling it off. That's our cone. If the cone is not installed properly, you will not be able to screw this thing down. I know that for sure. And that's part of the reason that we're putting some lube on it is so that it'll slide down to this cone. Just because there's lube, that doesn't mean it's going on easily, I can tell you that. Okay, that cone is on now. We might not need our brush or our, we might not need our, our rag. Now for the fun part. Okay, that's heavy. You can say it, still heavy. Uh-oh, don't forget to put that in or you will have a problem. when you wish you had help. Before I connect my hoses, I want to make sure everything's seated properly by putting my cap on. Alright guys, this is round two. Took it back out, found that the plug wasn't all the way in, which really shouldn't have caused that problem, but that's okay. Now we're going to put this guy back on. Try to put it back together. Still heavy. Still heavy. I don't know about this. off our valve. <clears throat> I 
Hey, so we're gonna do a short mini tour of this, of some of our sugar barn here. I'm gonna show you where the water flows through before it comes to our reverse osmosis machine right here. Out here in the sugar barn, we have our large tank, which is about 5,000 gallons worth of water. Oh boy, don't wanna lose any water. Shut off valve for the main tank, pull it. Now water's going in. We have our line that goes across the floor. Going across, going across, going across. Whoops. Goes across the floor, guys. And it goes into the wall right there. It goes through the wall. And now it goes in this direction here. So what we're gonna do, open up that valve. Before that water really starts flowing, I'm gonna turn this valve off. So guys, one of the things we gotta make sure of is that we've got the valve closed to our big tank. And this is, it's not a big tank, it's a little tank on top of the big tank. So we gotta have the valve closed up here. Okay, all the valves are closed. And now we're gonna go back in the other room and uh, start the RO. Before we go though, check this out. Look how clear that is. That's a clear water, isn't it? Guys, that's the sap that comes out of the trees. And every night we clean this big tank. Every night we clean the big tank. And so that's yesterday, last night's water and today's water. We're gonna start the reverse osmosis process now. On this particular machine, we gotta close both valves. One gets turned, one turn one way, the other gets turned another couple turns. So you shut them all the way off. Two turns. This is gonna to go to the tank. We're gonna open up. Forgot to re-put these back in. They will not work. Alright. So these are set where they need to be set. Both these valves end up going to tanks. One is the permeate tank, the other one is the concentrate tank. And now we're gonna start the unit. So basically guys, we do not have any water in this unit. There it goes. the meters are doing what they need to do. Once we get flow inside of here, we'll then be able to turn on our turbine. But as long as we got bubbles in here, it's going to cause the turbine to, uh, to pause or air out or stop working. Good. Turn on the turbine. Now our flow is going to increase even more. And this is our permeate. No. And guys, this is our concentrate tank. 
Not quite sweet yet. We're gonna get there though. This is coming from the reverse osmosis machine. It actually goes up into the ceiling, makes an arch, and comes back into here. You can see the reverse osmosis machine through the window. It's a little quieter out here, so we can talk a little. We can talk about it, guys. This machine uh, helps us remove a lot of the water from the sap that's coming out of the trees, so that it reduces our overall boil time. And we're able to process 1,200 gallons an hour and make eh, 100 and 200 to 240 gallons of concentrate um, that we then can boil. So guys, we're gonna push this machine a little harder than that. And so what we're gonna do is begin to recirculate that water in a little while back into our big tank so that we can get to even a higher bricks and reduce our boil times even further. Guys, I wanna say thanks for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing, give us that thumbs up. Let me try it again. Hey, if you guys like what you're seeing, give us that thumbs up. Much appreciated. Hope you have a great day. Until next time. God bless you guys.